Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. <laughs> Today we're drinking a beer. Austria's finest beer. Austria's finest beer. It's 5.2% alcohol. It's in a green can. It kind of matches my shirt. It is Gozer, Gusen. Uh, I like up here how it says Gut Besser. Gut Besser. Gut. Gut Besser. Beer, Pivo, Ol, Beer, Cerveza. So, um, obviously, oh, Bira, Sor, Beer, and Beer. So, obviously, this is one of their big exports, since beer's in seven different languages on the can. Uh, well, that's not English. Um, beer ingredients. Water. Barley malt. Hops. Store in a cool place. Best before, see the bottom of the can. I believe this is pretty damn close to its best before date. Let's see the bottom of the can. Uh, expires. Well, I don't know. It says 12 2011. This is 12 2011, so maybe it's expired already. Maybe it's not. Who knows? Um, let's try it. What cup am I going to use? Uh, let's use this, just because it's here on the table. I haven't put any of my new cups away yet, so there's a bunch of cups here on the table. If you're wondering how I could just, you know, reach down and grab something. I did pour it very aggressively, so there is more head than there should be. Lots of carbonation in there. Yellow piss color. Head looks kind of pillowy. Fading, but not all that fast. It's not actually a bad looking lager, to tell you the truth. It's not a good smelling lager. Ooh. Okay, out of the bottle, out of the bottle, out of the glass, you smell a little bit of hops, you smell a little bit of malt. It just smells like your, your average European macro lager is what it smells like out of the out of the cup, except minus the skunkiness. You're not getting any of the skunkiness. You're just getting that slightly lower quality malt and lower quality hops watered down like, like scent. Now out of the can, now out of the can, out of the can you almost get a gum smell. I wouldn't say spearmint, even though I want to, because that would be lying. But almost like, I don't know, um, double bubble or something. That, like, Bazooka Joe's. That's what it's like. Bazooka Joe's. Do you guys remember Bazooka Joe's? Those little five cent gums you could buy that had the comics and stuff in them? That's what this smells like out of the can. Out of the can, it smells just like a Bazooka Joe. That scares the shit out of me. Uh, let's drink the beer. Prost. Cheers. Yeehaw. Yippee I Kayo. Yippee I Kaye, motherfucker. Woot woot. Okay. So it's very easy drinking. <sighs> Malt forefront. Slight hop bitterness on the background. But also in the background, the finishing taste, the weird thing about it is it actually sort of tastes like a Bazooka Joe. Not saying like when you first chew it and it actually has flavor, as the flavor starts subsiding and you're getting more of that like powdered rubbery taste, kind of has that to it. A sweet, powdery, rubbery taste like a Bazooka Joe would after you've chewed it for about a minute. Is it is it a bad beer? No, it's not. It's it's different. It's weird. It's very easy drinking. 
Uh, it's a little higher alcohol percentage than most beers at 5.2. It's easy to find here in Ontario. It leaves a, a slight a slight cotton mouth feeling in your mouth. I'm not saying you're, you're actually waiting there for something else to drink, but it leaves you feeling a little dry in there. Other than that weird, slightly like powdered, rubbery taste, like like the Bazooka Joe, it's just your average uh, macro European beer. No complaints about it, really. It's it's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. I'd give it like a six, six point five out of ten, somewhere in there. Uh, if you want to drink it, drink it. If you don't want to drink it, you know what? You're not really missing anything. It's just easy drinking and easy to find. So. Thank you for watching the Albino Beer Review. Good beer drinking, all of you. Have yourselves a wonderful night. Bye bye.